Welcome to this gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph this absolute value inequality. Now, when we're creating absolute value inequalities, we got um, kind of like we when we did with equations to set up our two cases. Um, we want we're going to create this as a compound inequality. So to do this, um, when I have less than or equal to, then all I'm simply do writing my compound inequality is I'm going to write negative six is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to. 6. So now I've created a compound inequality, um, which is an and that I need to graph. So to go do that, um, I know that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 6, and x has to be less than or equal to 6. So I go here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So negative 6, positive 6. My values have to be between these two values. Since they're both less than or equal to, I'm going to shade them in. And therefore, all the solutions are going to be in between. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph your absolute value inequality. Thanks.